Hi, welcome to Burning River Bushcraft. Today we're going to be tanning a rattlesnake skin. Alright, so this rattlesnake has already been uh, skinned and fleshed out. And I just pulled him out of the freezer last night and gave him a chance to thaw. So I'm going to unroll him here. And you can see this is probably... Oh, maybe a three foot snake, maybe 40 inches with the head and stuff attached. Uh, the head's been removed. Uh, I still have the rattle on it. So the tanning process on a snake like this is going to be different than a mammal. So once I have it unrolled here, I've got any anywhere that the skin is curled under, I'm going to have to open that up and make sure all of the inside and the outside of the skin is going to be exposed to the chemicals we're going to be using. So here's a little better look at the snake. And it is right around three feet. I measured it. And that's, you know, without the, the head on it. So this was probably a, you know, 38 inch snake, close to 40 inches. But as I was saying, uh, this was rolled up after it was fleshed. So very carefully, I'm going to unroll any of the skin to make sure it's all one layer. So you can see the size of that snake. Beautiful color on it. Very beautiful color snake. So now that I have the skinned, fleshed rattlesnake completely unrolled, I'm going to go ahead and mix my tanning solution now. Now this is going to be a 50-50 ratio. So I'm going to be using 50% glycerin, and 50% rubbing alcohol. Now I did go with the 90% uh, rubbing alcohol on this. It doesn't really matter for this application, but it works better for me in an alcohol stove. So I went ahead and got the bigger bottle of the high test. Now you're also gonna need a container with a lid on it. Now this is gonna sit for two to three days, depending on how busy I get. Uh, and then you're gonna have to continually stir it or shake it uh, once to twice a day. So. I went ahead and got a glass jar. Now most of the time when someone says, hey, let's go skin a rattlesnake, there's a jar of moonshine involved in it. So it's only fitting that I'm going to be doing this in a jar that used to hold moonshine. All right, so with this glycerin, this is like a four ounce container. I'm going to go ahead and empty the whole thing in here. Just so I get the mix right, I'm going to reuse the same container. I'm going to go ahead and shake it up a little bit. Now into the container goes the snake. Go 
I'll go ahead and make it completely submerged. Now, the entire snake has to be in the solution. Okay, and I'm going to put the lid on, give it a good shake. Alright, so this is about the worst looking jar you're ever going to see. Uh, the snake is completely submerged though. It's going to work out just fine for us. And I'm going to let this sit, you know, out of direct sunlight for, you know, whatever. Two days, maybe three days, depending on how busy I get. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and let this go and then shake it maybe once, twice a day. And then I'll show you the next step in the process. So our rattlesnake skin has been sitting in the solution here for about four days now. And a couple times a day I'll stop by, I'll shake it up, I'll take a stick and I'll make sure the skin is entirely submerged. And it looks like it's about ready. And as I open it up, you know, I'm really looking for any, any dry spots, anything that doesn't look like it got thoroughly soaked. And it looks like it, uh, looks like it took the solution pretty well. So you can see the snake continually wants to curl up. You know, I opened this up before I put it in solution. I stirred it up. And then we've also got this wave to it. So to counteract that, let me get it out of here first. So I'm going to take a stick here. open them up and give them a little bit of a stretch and then start to roll the skin. There we go. Now as I roll this, I'm going to stretch the snake out as wide as possible. That's about midpoint of the body. Right now it's actually starting to taper down. Now as I get back down to the tail here, it's going to get a little bit more difficult because the rattle's still on this. So here's, here's the snake all mounted up on a stick. Now, that's going to uh, give it a little more rigidity when it dries. Let's see how much of the solution I can get off here quickly. Alright, so I got my snake on a stick all set here. Now the next step in this is I'm just going to hang it up and let it dry. I'm just going to suspend the stick on a piece of bank line or something. You know, hang it in the rafters somewhere out of the direct sunlight, obviously. And I'll give it a day or so and we'll let it dry out. So the rattlesnake skin has been drying for probably about four days. I had it hanging kind of like this. I uh, had it hanging, had a fan on it actually. Uh, it took longer than I anticipated, but 
you know, it seems like it's quite a bit flatter now. The entire width of the snake's like four and a half inches, and I think the length of it's right around 36 inches. But it's more or less dried now. You know, when I was unrolling this little bit to check on it, uh, some of the areas seem damp, but it's not bad at all. So we have a completely preserved, you know, beautiful rattlesnake skin. So here's the snake skin, all dried out, rattle still on it, and the rattle's dried out now again, where it'll rattle a little bit. Now the jar with the solution in it, you know, I could do multiple snakes in this. Uh, there is a shortage of rattlesnakes in my area, so I'm not really going to have a need for this. However, if I did not label this jar or kept it, you know, this is a good way to lose friends, is to give them a big drink of rattlesnake hide tanning solution when they think they're getting moonshine. So definitely either dispose of it or mark it and keep it, but it is usable in its state multiple times. So harvesting game and utilizing as much of the animal as possible is a critical wilderness skill to learn. Uh, the tanning process on a snake is quite a bit different than a typical mammal. That's why I thought it'd be good to show this on video. This is a uh, you know, great piece for decoration. You know, this is commonly used for bow limbs. Uh, it's a natural camouflage. Uh, but it's too, you know, really too nice of a hide to get rid of. You know, so if you do have a, a problem rattlesnake that has to be removed, you know, go ahead and save the hide. You know, skin it out. Even if it's not something you're going to utilize, get it to somebody who can. Uh, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you next time.